Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Shield NFE playthrough. This is episode 15. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, when we last, where we last left off, we are getting ready to battle Alistar, the fourth gym leader, uh, coast gym leader. Probably going to get beat because we're a little under level, but you never know. We might pull it off. Uh, there'll probably be some grinding this episode. If we win, there'll be some grinding afterwards to make sure we're ready to go for future gym battles and such. If we lose, then obviously we'll be grinding so that uh, we're going to go for this battle. So, here we go. <laughs> uh, good old Alistar. Alistair, whatever. First time I've actually battled Alistair myself. I watched my daughter battle him on her game, but uh, I've played through, well, I've played through these games twice. I played through Sword twice. I didn't play Sword and Shield. So let's see how we do against Alistair here. Got a mask to start, huh? All right. Woohoo, he's gonna be up first. I'm gonna see if we can get by with some copycat shenanigans. Well, it doesn't work if we go first, though. Ooh! Unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunate. Well, on the bright side, he didn't do anything either his first turn. So let's see, it's part ground. So we'll go Wooper. All right. Don't annihilate me this turn, please. Brutal swing. That's a dark move. I was gonna say so we should be okay. Dance. That's gonna hurt more. Why didn't he just start with that? Huh. All right. Well, at the very least, Wooper has set up Palpitoad, if nothing else. Tail. My Wooper. Hang in there. Way to go, Wooper. Lock the tail. Come on, take it out. Take it out. Yeah. Good hit, though. Alright. Sure. Energy root. Hex again. Alright, so we survived. We should be able to take another hit. Since Aqua Tail's 90% accurate, we're gonna go dig just to guarantee that we get this hit off. Looks like it's a good choice since he disabled Aqua Tail. Oh man. Alright, Wooper Dig. Yaw Mask goes down. All right. Well, we got a critical hit. We obviously needed it. Oh, boy. All right. Palpitode and Charge Bug. Right there. So, yay. Oh, I switched Pokemon. Nah. Mimikyu. All right. Well, let's go Aqua Tail. Oh, that's right. I'm, I'm silly. Pig. Slash attack. And Wooper hangs on. Good, so we can at least get rid of Mimikyu's disguise here. Alright. Good. My gut tells me he's going to go for Shadow Sneak again, so should be able to heal up Wooper. Yeah, we're definitely under-leveled because, I mean, the Mimikyu is level 34. Wooper here is a 30. My, my highest-leveled Pokemon is um, Yamper at 32, so we are definitely under-leveled. Wow, that did so much damage for just a uh, Shadow Sneak. That could be bad. It's going to have a souped-up Shadow Sneak now. And with Shadow Sneak, speed doesn't matter. This could be problematic. Well... 
I'm gonna try to outsmart him and assume that he's gonna use Shadow Sneak again. Come on. Yes. Alright. If we're faster, this should work. Nope. He's gonna outsmart us, it looks like. Well, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. What is a good switch here, I guess? I don't really have anything that's great against Mimikyu. Let's take a look at some summaries here. Who's got the higher defense? 76, 44, 47. Okay, so it's clearly Charge Bug that can take a hit better than the others. So we're gonna go Charge Bug. All right, come on, we can do this. Just gotta kind of figure our way around this. And hope that they don't get a million critical hits or anything. Spark. All right. Not really as much damage as I was hoping for. Come on, survive it. Charge bug, getting us our spark off. Good. Heal. We'll take another slash or shadow sneak, and then hit it with spark again. Okay. So we took the shadow sneak, wrong button. Fight, spark. Well, that helps. It, kind of, if it doesn't survive this turn. Come on. All right, Mimikyu's down. It's two down. Does he have one or two more Pokemon? Wooloo leveled up. Two more. Okay, Corsola. Let's go Yamper. Let's see if we can crunch it. <laughs> oh, Cursula. I thought it was Corsola for some reason. Well, good news is Cursula has zero physical defense, so if we do get a crunch off, we're going to do some good damage to it. Like I said, though, if we got a crunch off. Well, that thing's faster than Yamper, so... Yamper showing once again, it's not the fastest Pokemon that I have. What? I, I think Cursula is not supposed to be that fast, so uh, maybe we get lucky here and we can copycat. Yes. All right, Wooloo finding a way to contribute against the ghost Pokemon. Though we have like zero special attack on this thing, but still. Wooloo getting to contribute. That's not the worst thing in the world. Because it hurt itself, and I can just switch Pokemon. Well, wait, does it have that... I don't... No, I, I can switch, that's right. Um, put Wooper back out there. Wooper's a little more disposable than Palpatoad is. Oh boy. It's definitely going to take a team effort to win this thing. Oof. I probably should have healed somebody instead of picking an attack there, but I was stupid. So, yeah. Okay. We'll put Wooloo out there while I heal somebody up. Because it can't use Hex against Wooloo, so it's got to use either Ancient Power or Curse again. Uh, Revival Herb. Yamper. Ancient Power once again. Gets the knockout on Wooloo. Uh, 
Litwick, and we'll hope that Litwick is fast enough to get off an attack. Nope, it's faster. This could be bad. All right, do I have anything that can survive? It's not even using, like, Shadow Ball or anything. It's got Hex, and we can't seem to get by it. All right, Charge Bug, let's see if you can take a hit well enough to get by it. Charge Bug gets beat here. We are in some uh, deep doo-doo, some trouble. Ooh, that's right, and there's a rock attack. Well, on the bright side, uh, my math is correct. That's at least three ancient powers so far. So we should be nearing it not being able to use ancient power, which means Charge Bug can survive the next time around, potentially, if we get him to use up his ancient powers. Uh, Revival Herb. Wooloo. Because it doesn't have anything it can beat Wooloo with in one hit. Wooloo's going to come in handy this battle, uh, surviving uh, hits to uh, allow me to heal other people. <laughs> I mean, other Pokemon on the team. Ooh, I clicked the wrong one. My bad, my camera was in the way. Uh, like my picture that you're, my lovely picture you guys are looking at in the top left hand corner. Uh, and I picked the wrong Pokemon. That was great a great job on my part. Great job on my part. Oh boy. Oh well. Um, try this again. And try not to look like an idiot this time. Charge bug. So that's the fourth ancient power. Since it can't hit Wulu with anything else, that's gonna force it to use up its ancient powers, it looks like. <sighs> yep, okay, so that should be five. So if he's using a regular amount of ancient power, like without any uh, PP maxes or anything added to it, it shouldn't be able to Ancient Power again. If it does, then that means we're working with the version of Ancient Power that has eight turns, so we'll have to take three more. But we'll see. Yeah, it's using Hex this time, so it's out of Ancient Power. Charge Bug can take the hit. She does. We should be able to get rid of Curse All right. So one Pokemon to go. We're not in great shape at the moment. His last Pokemon. Uh, he's been a Gigantamax, I'm sure of that. So we're just gonna revive people for a few turns until the Gigantamax wears off. And then we'll see what we can do after that. Let's see here. First things first, like I said, we're just going to be outlasting those uh, giant the max turns. Here we go. All right. All right, there's Gigantamax Gengar. attack are you gonna do? Well I mean if you're if you defeat me it's not gonna matter if I can't escape. <laughs> so yeah so that, that doesn't really I don't care about that effect too much. Uh, we'll go with charge bug and save Wooloo for when it goes back to normal because then maybe we can trick it into let us use Shadow Ball or Hex or something against it. Even a poison move wouldn't be the end of the world because we would at least be able to do some damage even if it wasn't very much. Or Dark Move, that would be super effective on a Gengar. So, I mean, we've got some options here if we can uh, 
to survive long enough to make use of them. So it's two Gigantamax turns. This will be the third one. And after this, it'll be like fighting a normal Gengar. Uh, Charge Bug again. I go with my guys that are most likely to survive a, uh, survive a hit. Interesting that I went with the dark move there on Palpitoad instead of the ghost move again. Although I did get my special defense to fall, so... Uh, it one-shot me with the ghost thing last time, so again, I'm still kind of shocked he didn't do that again. Okay, so he doesn't have Shadow Ball. That makes this a little more doable. I'm sure it's not going to work. I'm sure it'll probably beat me. Let's send the Amper out there on the off chance that we can get a Nuzzle off. Because the Amper did survive one of Cursula's attacks, and it has Sky High Special Attack. Come on, survive it, Yamper. Yes, get that nuzzle. Slow it down. Okay, we got a chance now. We've hindered Gengar a little bit. As you say, it's still gonna be faster than Yamper, but we've made it to, A, there's a chance it might not attack each turn, and B, there's a chance that uh, we might outspeed it with some of our Pokemon now. Um. For example, it's probably still faster than Wulu, but let's take a gander at this to see if uh, see if we can get Hex to work against it here. Nice. So we're gonna get at least one Hex attack off. Let's try Wulu. Okay. I mean, ooh, well that is not great, but all right. We can still go with Plan B. We're made. Well, no, Wulu got beat. I was gonna say maybe Wulu can take a hit while we uh, heal somebody, but not the case. All right. But we have learned something important. Wulu can outspeed it. So if he uses Hex again here, and we bring Wulu back, we can just keep using Copycat Hex until we uh, until we win. <laughs> Yep, there goes Wooper. Shocker there. No offense to Wooper. Alright. Alright, Wooloo, let's try this again. <laughs> Copycat again. For Hex. Alright, Wooloo with another good hit. First body again. Of course. All right, he was paralyzed. At least that gives me a chance to bring someone else back again. Uh, Amper has already proven it can survive a hit, so we'll bring Amper back and we can go for Crunch instead of Nuzzle this time around. Ooh, that's right. Payback is... Physical, so how about we go with defense curl in case he keeps in case he keeps payback happy? Nope, that yeah, that figures. <laughs> oh, well, it was worth a shot. All right, let's go yamper. We just need one crunch, yamper, one crunch. Funny, by the way, how my whole plan was to have Dig for this Gengar in this battle, and we haven't used Dig once. But you know what? Doesn't matter. We win. <laughs> so, uh, well, all righty. Charge Bug and Yamper both leveled up. Try making the camera a little smaller next episode. Like I think this is still the best spot for it, but maybe I can make it smaller so it's not as much in the way. I don't know. <sighs> 
All right, so we beat Alistair. Four gym badges down. All right. Pokemon up to level 40 can be caught. Sweet. Sweet. All right. We got Hex. Shocker there. Everything in the gym knew that attack. And a ghost uniform. Do I have anything besides Litwick that can actually learn the new attack? Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, though. we uh, So Copycat going to stay on Wulu's moveset for a little bit because that helped. Um, yeah. We won the battle. Pretty good job. All right, we're gonna have um, Wooper out front again. All right, so we got four gym badges, everybody. Now we get to work all the way, well, we don't get to work down too far. Now we get a series of cut scenes, I believe, and then we'll work our way through uh, Grimwood Tangle, or Glimwood Tangle, can't remember. I feel like it's probably the L because of all, uh, Glimwood Tangle because of all the uh, lighting effects in there. Alrighty. Let's go up there and have a look. Do I need to heal my Pokemon? No. I should have again I should have noticed that when I was reordering them a man ago, and I didn't. <laughs> oh well. So we have four badges. Looking good. I'm not sure if I was supposed to talk to Sonya or just walk by her. I walked by her. All right, it worked out that I walked by her. So. Good to know. <laughs> uh, dead. Oh, that's right. He's trying to break down the wall because he thinks there's wishing stars behind it. Oh my, you again. So you think that you can start collecting wishing stars now and get in the chairman's favor? That's the way of things, is it? Now nah, whatever, beat. I'm still gonna kick your butt. Cause you have nothing but psychic Pokemon right now, so charge a bug can pretty much wipe you out. Although we might want to avoid charge bug taking a hit start here. Sorry, Wooper. <laughs> You're gonna be our leadoff guy here. Yep. Sorry, Wooper. If I would have switched, uh, it would have been uh, someone else taking a big hit. All right, we'll try Litwick. I think Litwick's going to lose too, but I'm just going to give it a shot here. See if we're even faster to begin with. Light screen. Should have gone with Confuse Ray while he wasn't attacking this turn. That would have been smarter. Oh well. Light screen won't help him out much when uh, Charger Bug gets in there anyway. That did more damage than I thought it would do. All right, this time we'll go Confuse Ray on the off chance that we get a chance to uh, use it. Oh, we survived. What do you know? And we got the Confuse Ray to work. All right. And now that he's confused, Hex will do more damage. Uh, if we get lucky enough that he doesn't beat, uh, defeat us this turn, we might get a, a surprise win here. Nope, okay. Well, he's still confused for the next guy, at least. <sighs> Good work, Litwick. Uh... Charge bug, yeah. What am I, what am I thinking? Alright. Bug bite. Bug bite. And, ah, oh, held on. All right, we'll take it out this time. Super Potion, if that doesn't heal it all the way, we should still be okay. Yeah, maybe we get a crit or something. Nope. All right, well, we, we've got him for sure this time. Come on, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. 
didn't hit himself. All right. Charge bug does take the hit like a champ though. Good girl. Bug bite. All right, Duosion's beat. Now we get the critical hit <laughs> when we absolutely didn't need it. All right, Gotharita's coming out. It, I don't think Gotharita's got enough defense to stand up the bug bite, but I could be wrong. Well, I might now. Special defense fell. Nope, okay, so we're still okay as far as our attack strength. Ooh, okay, so it does have good defense. And it's gonna hit hard because of knocking down our special defense. Yep, okay. So remember that thing I said where we were under leveled? Um, oh, I did have a reflect up. I didn't notice that. Huh. Might have been good to know. All right, we'll try Yamper. If Yamper gets one shotted, then we'll just start revival, reviving her, using revival herbs on everyone. Yeah. Right, crunch. Come on, take a hit, take a hit, take a hit, Yamper. Oh, great job, Yamper. You're gonna survive another one. Good. Another crunch should. Ooh, do not want to do that. Another crunch should do the trick. All right, we survive. Come on, Yamper. All right, Gotharita's down, so halfway defeated. He's got, uh, I think, Hatrim. I don't think he's evolved to Ponyta yet at this point, but I could be wrong about that. Wouldn't be the first time I was wrong about something in this playthrough. <laughs> Alright, um, since that's probably going to take out Ian for this turn, let's go ahead and get Charger Bug ready. Yep. Alright, so, I believe at this point it is Psychic Fairy, um, if it wasn't already Psychic Fairy, so... We'll go charge a bug. I'm gonna string shot it, because I know this Pokemon's already like not super fast, but this way when I start reviving everybody, we can guarantee that we're going before it. Alright, good job, Charge a Bug. Way to take the hit. We missed the string shot. 95% accurate, and we missed the string shot. Wow. All right, well, if we can take this hit, we'll be okay. All right, come on, get it this time. Thank you. Jeez. Are we still slower? Probably. Nope, okay. Good hit. Now, see, if we would've hit it the first time, we would've won that battle. <laughs> All right. Well, now that it's been slowed down, let's use Palpatode, knock it out, and then we'll start reviving for our Ponyta. Double Beam. And there goes Hatrim. Okay. Wulu and Palpatode both grew a level. I don't want reversal quite yet. I mean, it might have been... Better than double kick, but let's see. Now yeah, we'll just start with Palpatode. Are you evolved yet or not? Is going to be the real question here. Nope. Okay. I think we should be okay. We'll see how strong, how much the side beam does. All right, Palpatode might be able to just win this uh, itself. Good. Bubble beam again. Oh man, I'm, I don't know why. I'm kind of tired today. <laughs> so forgive me for all the yawning. Bubble beam again. And. <laughs> Alright, well. 
I don't think I'm gonna have to bother reviving anyone because I think that uh, Wulu will be able to at least muster up that much damage. <sighs> All right, here we go, Wulu. All you gotta do is hit one headbutt. Jody. All right, we basically win. <laughs> All right. Boom. All right. We got this. Bead has lost once again to us. No, you're not evolving. I will seriously, though, have to do some grinding here, it looks like, soon, because, uh, really cutting it close on a couple of the, uh, on both of these last two battles. Um,. All right, they're getting after Bead for trying to break that mural. All right. Chairman Rose says he's disappointed in Bead. It's going to upset Bead. And he told him that he has revoked his gym challenge. Well, so Bede kind of got the raw end of the deal there, but if he wasn't breaking, <laughs> destroying public property, that uh, might not happen. Uh, I never wish to see us lose challengers for this sort of reason. All right. Yep. And that would make it hurt even more. Um, I do like in this game, I won't spoil which characters, but I do like the transformation that some of the characters go through in this game. It's not the kind of thing you always see in uh, Pokemon games, and I really appreciate it. She's remembering more stuff about the legend. Now we've got a, a dog ho holding a sword and a dog holding a shield. Dog, wolf, whatever you want to call. <laughs> All right. A sword and a shield. I would never guess those would be important in the games called Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Oh, boy. I do really love these games, though. These are... High quality Pokemon games. Um, I haven't quite made up my mind yet as far as if they're my favorite Pokemon games or not. Um, for me personally, some of my favorites are White, Sapphire, and uh, Moon. So it's got some stiff competition, but I definitely would say that this would be in the top half of Pokemon games, at the very least. I, I think it's a very great game. Uh, there's more Pokemon coming in the DLC. Uh, and like I said, this is my third time essentially playing through these games because I played through Sword twice. So um, they're obviously fun enough games for me to attempt a third time. So, yeah. Uh, and I will be making videos of the Isle of Armor. It probably won't be immediately when the Isle of Armor comes out. But uh, once we finish this playthrough here, I will make some Isle of Armor videos on this, sh on, on this save file as well. So, uh, yeah. Um, so our next thing we got to do is go to, I think it's Glimwood Tangle. Could be wrong. We'll find out the name here in just a moment after I cross past these, I go past these lights. And into the forest. It is Glimwood Tangle. Okay. We're just wandering around getting our battle work going here. Cook Derek. Milsuri. All 
right? Uber kick its butt. Actually, the great part about this upcoming town we're going to go to is I've been talking about that Eviolite item the whole game. We're finally going to get a chance to put the Eviolite on Wulu and really make its defenses <laughs> pretty sky high. At least for a Wulu, anyway. Dazzling Gleam, that hurt a lot. Aqua Pale. Okay, we're going to switch because Dazzling Gleam will beat us. All right, we're, we're actually on a pretty good pace for finishing this game. I mean, we're on episode 15. We have four badges. Um, once things start really kicking off, I don't think it'll take another 15 episodes to get four more badges. So, um, but then again, we factor in the um, fighting the champion and everything. I'd estimate that this series will be 25, 30 videos long. That'll be my guess. Um... So we're, we're at the halfway point at the very least. That is not a good matchup. Uh, Litwick. This fairy type moves won't do much to Litwick being a fire type, and grass moves won't do much to Litwick being a fire type. So. Despite that, though, that did more damage than I was hoping it would do. Uh, fire spin. Please hit. Please hit. Please, oh, well, of course he gets to go first. This is why we're going to need Fire Spin. Alright. Since he, since it's going to be healing itself, we're going to need some of that chip damage to uh, give us a chance here. You know, Will-O-Wisp this turn. Alright, good. We made it through the, the hit. We'll get a Will-O-Wisp off, we'll heal up, and then we'll let the burn and uh, Fire Spin do its thing for a turn. And then we'll follow up with Hex. All right. Bag. Energy Root. On to Litwick. All right. No mistakes there that time. Uh, we'll drain again. We got a high roll. Uh, Burn's going to get some of it back. The Fire Spin's going to also take some of it back. We broke even on that turn. Okay. X. It's going to hit me first, though, yeah. Because it's faster. That's the other reason we need the Eviolite uh, for this playthrough, is um, since all of our Pokemon are not fully evolved, a lot of them are not as fast as they... Uh, would normally be, so they're going to get outsped a lot. <laughs> Alright, another Hex should do the trick. Astonish this time. Interesting. Oh, that's right, Giga Drain doesn't have very many uses. Well, now we definitely win since it, uh, they ran out of Giga Drain. Alright. Wooper and Litwick both leveled up. Sinisty is next. I think that if we weren't already damaged, that Litwick could defeat Sinisty in a one-on-one. -on -one. But since we're already damaged, I don't want to take a chance. So we'll go with the Amper here and try to crunch it. Astonish again, huh? Critical hit. And we flinched. Wow. All right, that's how we broke through the flinch. Pretty good crunch, weak armor, so it's gonna be faster. It was already going first, so that's not really a big deal. Anything that helps us more, because its defenses dropped. Sucker punch. Well, no flinching with that attack, so we got rid of Sinistee. Alright, Yamper levels up. No, we're not going to learn Charge. Uh, if we had higher defenses, Charge could be a good thing, but, uh, yeah. Wooper, you're not evolving. <laughs> Neither are you, Yamper. Uh, 
Oh boy. Okay. And there's nowhere to go there. It's just a guy standing in the corner. Okay. Still glad I explored though. So there's nothing else that way to begin with, so we'll go this way. Go through the grass. Go around that grass. Get the Pokemon ball. Go through there. Alright, so we got two a duo of trainers over there. Wrong button. And put a bag. So we got a duo of trainers over to the right. And more ways to explore on the left. Let's make everyone feel better. I'm thinking about it. Alright. So we got that duo over there. Let's pick this up. Oh, that's not what I want. Let's pick that up. Snore. Alright. I'm not sure if there's one, like, super direct path to get out of here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it is. It's all optional. Okay. Well, we're still going to battle these people, though, because um, we are underleveled. And the only way to get levels in Pokemon, at least while everyone's watching anyway, are to battle people or to do the raid battles. Um, I could do the pokey jobs or whatever, but that's something I would have to, have to do off camera. Uh, so if I want to do some grinding on camera, or you do it old school and do some battling, I might do some raid battles if we get too far behind. Uh, let's see. Could hit on Ndidi there. Come on, Wooper. That uh, might hurt a lot. Yep. Ooh, Wooper does hang on, though. Good job, Wooper. We missed the Aqua Tail, though. I rescind my good job, Wooper. Uh... Sorry, Bug. It's a Psychic type. We can use Bug Buzz. Not Bug Buzz. Bug Bite. Bug Buzz would be great if it was a uh, Vikable. For Charge a Bug, we're gonna do. Be we're gonna be better off with Bug Bug Bite for right now. I am curious though, I wonder if Charge Bug learns any better physical bug moves than Bug Bite. Because Bug Bite's fine right now, but once we get into some of the tougher battles, like that was super effective and we didn't wipe it out there. We might we might need something, something with a little more oomph when we get to the uh, tougher battles. Doesn't matter that you dropped my attack, you have like no health left. Yep, we win that one. Alright. Charge Bug grew to a level 34, and she has the female in DD. No, it's another male. Huh. Two male in DDs. You would think, knowing Pokemon the way that they like to do put things in pairs and trios, that she would have had one of each. Huh. Maybe she has the. I don't. I don't remember what she had. If she had the female or not in. Uh, Sword, maybe she has the one that you don't have in your games. Oh no. I do not know. Uh, disarming voice, we're gonna survive that, we're gonna hit it, and we're gonna win. Alright. So we got Ndidi defeated. Um, we win that battle, Wulu leveled up. So let's stop Wulu from evolving again. But, uh... We're doing pretty well. We got four badges. Uh, making our way through this game. Uh, NFE certainly adds a degree of difficulty to the game, that's for sure. And that's part of why I like doing little things, uh, little challenges like this, is, uh... For someone like me, it can breeze through the game easily. It's nice to have a little challenge. All right, let's battle you two goons. No, I think we'll call it an episode after this battle. Curly 
Lilia and nine tables. Well, we certainly have Pokemon that can beat these Pokemon, but will we? Is the question. <sighs> All right, incinerate. Well, we got flash fire, so I didn't hurt uh, Litwick at all. And they hadn't been hurt yet, so life dude didn't help them at all. Okay, good start for us. Good Aqua Tail from Wooper. X on to Curlia. Alright. Well, since it does no life do, I wouldn't put my money on uh, beating them this turn, but we should be able to get them that uh, a little bit lower down, at least this turn, I think. No, they didn't go for the life do. Well, Wooper got beat, but Curlia is going to be out of there, which means Ninetales has no way to heal. So that still works out pretty well for us. All right, I'll take it. Wooper leveled up last battle anyway, so, or the battle before, or something like that. Palpitoad levels up. Well, since we're battling a fire type, let's throw Palpitoad out there. Just double up on uh, this poor nine tails. Looked, but it can't hurt Litwick anyway between uh, Incinerate and Quick Attack. That's, uh, if anything, Litwick would have beat it eventually. Alright, we won that one. Litwick leveled up. Don't want you to learn Curse. Okay. So. We're going to want to go through there next time. Let's go ahead and heal everybody up before we call it a day. All right. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. This was episode 15, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.